Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Haul. So another exciting day today with another big aloe haul. I think there is six or seven products in this haul, including some of their newest color drop, which is this honeydew green. I am super excited to try on. So we will go ahead and get started. And the first thing I will be putting on is a set of honeydew top and the bottoms. So stay tuned, click the like buttons, click the subscribe button, and I will be right back. Okay guys, so the first item in this haul is part of their newest color drop, which is the Honeydew. I'm actually wearing the bottoms right now, but I will start with the top and then back on up so you guys can see it together as a set and individually. But this is called the Aloe Soft Ribbed Chic Bra Tank. Now, the first thing I have to say is like, I love, the, love, love, love the color. It works really well on all of the in tan skin tones. Um, but this is probably a, a top that I won't keep. Now, I love a lot of Aloe's clothing and somehow they've managed to just take yoga clothing or athleisure wear to a whole new level, both in design and functionality. Um, so you gotta give them a round of applause because I like officially am obsessed with aloe. And when I first started yoga like seven or eight years ago, aloe was kind of new and their designs weren't so great and their sizing was really small. And so I kind of just kicked them out of my like perspective altogether. And I was really shopping at Beyond Yoga um, and Wolven, which I still love. And I love Beyond Yoga as well. But since they've really revamped their company over the last four years, I've become like obsessed and I'm so mad it took myself so long to get back into it. I guess I was just so anti it that for so long that it took me a little extra longer to get back into it. And now I'm back into it. And unfortunately my credit card is having a really difficult time with my new obsession. So. Straight off the back, I have to say, like, I really love the concept, the material, everything about this shirt, although it is not my favorite, and for the price that I paid for it, I'd prefer something else. Now, it does have this ribbed texture, as you guys can maybe, maybe not see. I'm not quite sure. The lighting is not too good in here. Um, but another thing that I noticed, I do have to say, is, like, in all my yoga clothing, so this is not something that's going to be just one company or another, is that my nippies always show and I always feel like I have to readjust them so that they're at least even. But what I am seeing right now is this pulling sensation right here. I do tend to have a bigger chest and I do wear a size extra small because the rest of my body is smaller aside from my butt and my chest. Um, so instantly I see this pulling sensation and that's a big no-no for me. Now you can try and like pull it out of the shirt, but it's not worth it at that point. Um, again, I love the color and like the more I try this on, the more I'm like almost convincing myself internally to keep it, but I know I'm not gonna keep it. I printed out the return label. This, this little sucker is going back. So I will go ahead and show you guys the back. It's got a simple B line down the back and attaches right there. Um, again, super comfortable. I've got nothing really bad to say about this aside from it didn't work for me really. Now I'm gonna go ahead and step on back so you guys can see it with the honeydew leggings, which I also love. I mean, this color is perfect for my skin tone and I'm consistently looking for this color to both enhance my skin tone and just because it's a color that a lot of other companies don't tend to make very often. So it's like a little hidden gem for me when I do find these mint green honeydew colors. Unfortunately, I have to say for whatever reason, and I've never had this before with my aloe clothes, is that I have to return these. Not because of the shape, even though these pants do tend to make me look a little bit bigger than I actually am. I'm willing to keep them be even though that is the case, but I'm returning them because Although you guys cannot see it, there is these faint lines going down my thigh. There's one right here. There's another one right here. And I don't know if that's a seam that was messed up and then it ended up pulling, which is creating this weird little line. But part of the reason why I like Alice so much is it also has a good resale value on secondhand markets. So I do tend to, after a year or two, take some of my stuff to Poshmark. And if you guys would like to find my store, it's either Mary L. Dean or Mary J's Halls. And you guys can find my products that I've listed there. I do have some aloe stuff up. I do have some Beyond Yoga. And I do have some Wolven stuff, as well as Spiritual Gangster and a bunch of these other popular companies now. So I would say that my Poshmark closet's really banging. But, you know, other people might disagree. So... I do have to say that this color, for whatever reason, does tend to show certain creases on the body a little bit more, whether it's like little chunks of fat on your legs or up here. Again, that's not something that concerns me that much just because this color is really, truly my, my hidden gem, my sweet spot, especially against my darker skin tone. Um, 
and you know body positivity we all have our creases we all have our crevices we're not going to fully get rid of any of them so we might as well accept it and wear what we like rather than trying to wear exactly what fits our body or kills any craters crevices whatever you want to call them on your body so i'll go ahead and do a spin so these pants are that aloe um seven eighths high-waisted airbrush leggings so i have taken a huge liking to their airbrush leggings and i've recently purchased more um as they are some of the most comfortable leggings that i've ever worn they're black ones i truly love both for casual wear and more fancy wear sometimes i do wish they sold a pair of the black airbrush leggings without the logo on them so you really could dress them up but overall i have to say I will always have a pair of aloe airbrush, the airbrush leggings. So these ones are the 7 8 so you can see that they don't pass my ankle. They're right above my ankle, which I also really like for these more summery colors. Um, just as we get into these spring and summer vibes, it's really just drawing the whole thing out, and I like these shorter leggings. So as you guys can see, you might see some creases here or on the side of my butt, which, again, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. Overall, love the color. I am re I'm sending these pants back, but I am rebuying them. And if they do do not have them in my size still, I might even consider keeping them because I truly do love this color. So guys, stay tuned for the second item. I don't know if it'll be in a set because this is really the only color matching set that I purchased. Um, but get excited, it's coming. Okay, so the next item in this, I decided just to keep on the bottoms just because I'm just working on a top right now. So the next item is the Wild Thing bra. Now guys, I already have this in black and fell in love with it, so I decided to try it in white. Unfortunately, the white isn't as nice on me personally as the black was. Um, now I can like see the lining of the padding in here, which is a huge no-no for me. And also, I usually take out the padding and anything that has padding in it because it is so bad. I don't know if you guys have tips or tricks on how to fix padding without literally spending an hour, please comment below because I would love to know how you guys are doing it. It eats me alive to the point where I'm just like freak it and like throw the padding out. That is my little baby chihuahua who would like some attention. His name is Pablo. Say hi, Pablo. He's a big attention whore. He's also a big aloe fan. He even has his own little life for me, Matt, and we do yoga next to each other. His favorite pose is upward facing dog. Wait. Okay, so back to the bra. As you guys can see, he's a great little accessory. Um, it, it makes me look a little bit busty. My boob doesn't even fit all the way in it, and this line um, in the black one, it doesn't show as much, but my boobs are definitely underneath the perimeter for where they should be. Now it has this like kinched center and I really do like the concept of this bra and I think I'm going to return it and try the ivory one instead, hoping that that adds a little bit more royalness. This kind of has a cheap look to me and I don't know why because the black one doesn't look that way. So I do love this bra, do not get me wrong. I honestly think it could work much better on a lot of other body types, maybe people with smaller chests. And if you guys have bigger chests, try the black one because you can't really see the definition between this crease up here and the under boob that's hanging out underneath it. You also, I ripped my paddings out and said, okay, free the nipples, don't care. I am, I'm really all about freeing the nipples anyway, but some people say it's not appropriate. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do the spin. I am going to be buying this in an extra small, same size. I tried one of the larger sizes, a small, but my black one, and it was a little bit too loose. So it made my boobs look a little bit saggy because my chest is heavier. So I do tend to need the smaller sizes up top, even though my boobs might be bursting out, but at least I have some compression and hold because the last thing I want is like sagging, floppy, loose out of my shirt while I'm in my yoga practice. So stay tuned, we will move on to the next one, which actually is the leather version of this. So I'm excited to try that one on yet with you guys because I have yet to try it on and I'm really crossing my fingers that it is what I think it is. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back with the Wild Thing bra. This one is the shine wild thing bra so it tends to have a more leathery look and i was really hoping this would be cool now this one doesn't come with padding thank god as you guys can see 
just in general, this is not the black one that I owned prior. Um, this is a new black one that I just bought because like I said, I fell in love with the first black one that I bought. So I was like, I might as well try two other colors except for the ivory, which I am going back to buy for sure. But I don't know so much if I'm going to keep this. Now I tried to buy the shine leggings to match this off of Poshmark. And what ended up happening was they sent me the leggings and the leggings were not up to par. They were not shiny anymore whatsoever. They just look musky now. So now I'm stuck with these leggings, which no problem on me because I do think that Aloe's airbrush leggings are one of the more comfortable leggings I've ever tried on. So as you guys can see, this is the shine one. So it did not come with padding in the inside. It does look a little too latexy for me, um, but I was, I was trying to vibe with it, you know. But as you guys can see, it has the same style. I just tossed it back on my Levi jean shorts just for ease because those um, honeydew green leggings don't really go with this leather black top. It's like juxtaposition, like extreme. So as you guys can see, I like it. I do like it. Can't really decide if I'm gonna keep it. I know I'm gonna try the ivory one. I know I like the black one a lot. So I might try and pair this with a couple other things and see if it works, even just for like a going out top rather than a yoga top. Now, the texture is a little bit bathing suity, so it's not as soft as the other one, but the inside is very soft. The outside has like almost like a scaly, scaly kind of feel to it and I've never bought any of their shine products before because I tend to be more matte oriented but I do wonder how this holds up in the wash just based on the shine leggings that I bought through Poshmark because those didn't keep their shine very long or at least I don't know how long that person had them but they didn't keep their shine period that's all I need to say and so I mean I wouldn't mind having another one of the black ones if I did lose the shine but it's always such a hard debate as to whether to keep or return because you love them all but you pay a good amount so you want it to be absolutely perfect and that's what i'm searching for now i'm only keeping things that are perfect because my closet is overflowing from both secondhand stuff and basically from aloe basically from aloe let's be let's be real here so as you guys can see it's cute my tits don't look like they're bursting out like they did in the white one it almost has a more relaxed fit yet it still holds up pretty tight again i got an extra small as i noticed they have changed their sizing in the last couple of years because the last time i bought extra small i was like i couldn't even breathe i couldn't get over one armhole so i am very happy that they expanded their sizing to be a little bit more inclusive even though i was already inclusive in their old sizing but still it's more inclusive now so we will go ahead and move on to the next one which i think is a sunny side strappy bra and i'm very excited for that because that is another color i am constantly looking for but can never find okay guys so the next product in this haul is the sunny strappy bra it is a glossy forest green which is a color that i'm always looking for because my eyes are green and it tends to help my eyes pop um for the most part this one i think was on sale for like 30 bucks so it was a great find and they had my size, which typically whenever I go to their sale items, they never have my size unless it's some of the things that I would not choose to personally wear. But overall, I think it, it's cute. It's simple. It's, <sighs> sorry, that was a sneeze. Nothing crazy. As you guys can see in the back, it's kind of like when that fad blew up of the strappy bras. Now, I personally am going to for sure keep it. I'm always looking for this color and I'm gonna try and find a similar color in leggings um, through Aloe. I'm hoping that they still have it. I actually really, really want them to start putting out more forest green or emerald greens, just darker green hues in general because they're great. And I know they do a new color drop every Tuesday, which is super exciting. It's also, again, like I said before, really, really daunting for my credit card, but I'm surviving, I'm making it through. So I will do another spin for you guys. 